Hello, and welcome to our webinar, GSLE2, Outcomes, for the Girl Scouts of South Carolina, Mountains to Midlands. My name is Mary Pedrick, and I am the manager of our volunteer training and engagement program. Let's get started. First, we will briefly revisit what makes Girl Scouts special. That's the Girl Scout leadership experience. Then we will explore the benefits of the Girl Scout leadership experience, what we call the outcomes. Finally, we'll dive deeper into the outcomes for different levels of girls so that you can understand how to see the GSLE at work in your troop experience. First, let's review a little history of the Girl Scout leadership experience. In the late 2000s, as Girl Scouting approached its 100th anniversary, and started to usher in a new century of developing girl leaders, the organization began to embrace the GSLE as the engine that drives Girl Scouting, a way to enhance what girls do in Girl Scouting, how they do it, and how they benefit. Understanding how to organize activities for your girls that align with the GSLE is important because everybody plays a part in ensuring that girls are having a quality, consistent, progressive experience. Additionally, as a valued part of the Girl Scout movement, every girl, volunteer, and staff person is responsible for knowing about our brand, its assets, our positions, and our intellectual property, like the GSLE. The Girl Scout mission is the ultimate goal driving everything we do at Girl Scouts of South Carolina, Mountains to Midlands. We want to build girls of courage, confidence, and character who make the world a better place. So how do we do that? We set some standards to guide us all in planning programs and activities for our Girl Scouts. So how can we make sure that those standards are met? First, we define GSLE as what girls do and how they do it. The focus of Girl Scout activities should allow girls to discover their talents and passions in a safe and supportive all-girl setting. Girls will connect with other Girl Scouts and people in their community, and together they will take action to change the world. These are the three keys. Second, we maintain the mindset that a Girl Scout's experience should be led by her. That's what we mean when we say girl-led. She should learn about her world by doing, and do it cooperatively with her Girl Scout sisters. These are the three processes. We can focus on these three processes of implementing the three keys in order to reach our five outcomes and achieve our mission. This gives us a visual of how the three keys, three processes, and five outcomes are all integrated and integral to the foundation of the Girl Scout mission. Let's dive deeper now into those five outcomes. may be wondering, how do you know that girls are having an effective leadership experience? Discovering, connecting, and taking action all look different at each level. How that looks for a Girl Scout Daisy may be very different from Girl Scout Ambassadors. The outcomes are what let adults know if girls at each program level are achieving leadership skills. By following the GSLE, girls can reach five short-term outcomes. By discovering, connecting, and taking action, the three keys, through girl-led planning and decision-making, learning by doing, and cooperative learning, the three processes, girls will develop a strong sense of self, they will embrace positive values, they will become challenge seekers, they will learn to build healthy relationships, and they will start seeking out ways to solve problems in their communities. Girls with a strong sense of self develop confidence in themselves and their abilities. They feel they are able to achieve their goals. They are able to form positive gender, social, and cultural identities. Daisies, who are developing a strong sense of self, may better be able to recognize their strengths and abilities by making positive statements about themselves. 
Brownies may positively identify with groups they associate with by recognizing how these characteristics make them unique. Juniors may gain a clearer sense of their identities in relation to and apart from outside influences. They also may report increased confidence in dealing with outside pressures. Cadets may be better able to show an increase in self-efficacy. Girl Scout seniors may be better able to recognize and address personal and social barriers to reaching their personal goals. And ambassadors with a well-developed sense of self feel they are better equipped to pursue future life goals. As girls develop positive values, they form their beliefs and values based on the Girl Scout promise and law. They learn to consider ethical aspects of situations and are committed to social justice and community service and action. Daisies developing positive values begin to understand the values inherent in the Girl Scout promise and law and apply it to themselves. Brownies may begin to apply the values inherent to the Girl Scout promise and law in various contexts. Juniors gain a greater understanding of ethical decision-making in their lives. Cadets who are developing positive values may demonstrate increased commitment to addressing issues by identifying instances that raise questions about issues of fairness, ethics, and social justice in their communities. Seniors are better able to recognize and resolve ethical dilemmas and can make ethical decisions in their everyday lives and explain why they made them. Ambassadors can demonstrate a commitment by promoting sustainable solutions to problems and may report increased interest in learning more about making sustainable impacts beyond their local communities. Girls become challenge seekers in the third outcome and they develop positive attitudes toward learning. They seek opportunities for expanding their knowledge and skills, and they set challenging goals for themselves and take appropriate risks. Daisies becoming challenge seekers will demonstrate increased interest in learning new skills, and they may ask a lot of questions and make a lot of observations. Brownies can recognize and learn from their mistakes. They can share when they've learned from a mistake. Juniors may become more explorative of new skills and ideas and report using a variety of resources to learn about new topics. Cadets are better able to distinguish positive and negative risk-taking behaviors. Seniors show increased courage to challenge their own and others' beliefs and opinions. Ambassadors have increased confidence to discuss and address challenging issues and contradictions in their lives and in their local and global communities. Girls learn to form and maintain meaningful and caring relationships, communicate effectively, protect their rights and relationships, and know when to seek help from others. Girl Scout daisies are better able to demonstrate helpful and caring behavior. Brownies begin to understand how their behavior contributes to maintaining healthy relationships. Juniors strengthen communication skills for maintaining healthy relationships. Cadets who are developing healthy relationships have more positive relationships with others, and they tend to say that they have at least one girl or adult that they can talk to about anything. Seniors have an increased knowledge of healthy dating and understand the importance of being able to communicate effectively. They also recognize unhealthy relationship behaviors too. Ambassadors are better able to protect their rights and relationships and actively seek information on healthy dating behaviors and healthy relationship behaviors, and they know who to contact when faced with an unhealthy relationship. The Girl Scout Promise and Law are always a good reminder for this one, respecting myself and others. A troop leader and a parent can use observation to see how girls are interacting with each other within their troops, as well as with others outside of their troops, and how the girls may or may not be applying the promise and law reminders. Girls can use their knowledge and skills to set up and implement creative and affection action plans, locate tools and resources they need, 
and know when, where, and how to enlist help from others in order to problem solve. Daisies, who are community problem solvers, know the basics of planning a project with adult guidance by making lists of resources. Brownies are better able to create alternative solutions to problems by reflecting on a real life problem or scenario and stating an alternative solution. They may say things like, next time I'll do this instead. Juniors gain a greater ability to locate and use resources that will help them accomplish their goals and feel confident about using the resources. Girl Scout cadets are able to create and implement detailed action plans for their projects. Seniors are better able to effectively plan and carry out action projects with minimal adult guidance. Ambassadors actively seek partnerships to achieve greater community participation and impact for their take action projects. Some older girls address some of these issues and seek to develop action plans in their gold award projects. Have you been able to, or how can you, identify, reinforce, or otherwise encourage each of these qualities in your girls? Are you noticing your daisies, asking a lot of questions, demonstrating interest in new things as challenge seekers? Can you keep an eye out for the bestie syndrome in your cadets to encourage them to maintain those close relationships while also remembering to be inclusive of others? That way their relationships are healthy. Do you have seniors or ambassadors working on take action plans and you notice that they are self-evaluating and readjusting the scope of the project as they go? Seeing these signs during Girl Scout activities lets you as the leader know that your girls are achieving the intended outcomes of the GSLE. Thank you so much for watching our webinar lesson on GSLE outcomes. I hope that you've learned a lot. Please reach out to me directly or go through customer care if you have any questions about the GSLE and how to identify or implement outcomes in your troop. Thank you for volunteering and continuing your service as a leader with our council.